yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me Fall on YouTube channel. What's going on, guys? Today is an exciting day because we are getting a Freedom Factory truck. And you guys might be wondering why, because we have that beautiful red F-150. Well, the only problem with the beautiful red F-150, old red, as we call her, we don't have the title for it. Uh, we don't have insurance on it besides the property insurance and uh, doesn't have AC. Plus it has a clutch that's going out. So our boy Alec has been driving it, but anytime it rains, which it rains every day in Florida now, windows fog up and basically he has to drive cheap. So Alec, the track manager, you guys have seen him a little bit. I know he hasn't been on here a ton. He moved down to Florida on the first week of February and he's basically just been driving Old Red and Chief because all he came with was a little bit of his furniture, his clothes, and his 04 CTSV, 2004 CTSV one, just like Cooper's old black CTSV one. And uh, the car is loud, so he definitely doesn't want to drive it every day. So he either just takes Chief or Old Red, but if it rains, then Old Red's out of the picture. But it makes it difficult because there's a lot of times he's got to go to Home Depot and buy paint or plywood two by fours and can't take old red because it's not licensed and he ends up taking the crown vic which can only hold so much stuff and it's just basically the last almost six months has been uh you know almost a trial run to see if he really likes the job if he's gonna stick around for a while it seems like alec is gonna stay for well i don't think we're gonna lose him no, he's not really going anywhere <laughs> yeah so we kind of put him through the uh, the ropes and he's worked with us now and he seems to like it. And it was also a test to see, you know, can he take care of some cars? You know, and there's nothing wrong with Chief. He hasn't done anything wrong with that. Old Red's been running good besides the one burnout, which I provoked. And most importantly, he hasn't complained about it at all. Like literally, he could care less. I mean, he'll still do it. He will drive Old Red every day if we ask him to. But, uh, you know, he's proved to me that he's here to stay for a while and work hard and make the Freedom Factory a better place every day he shows up there and just help us do what we need to do with making the videos and having the events and things like that. So today we are going to look at a truck that is at my buddy's Chevrolet dealer, Stingray Bartow, that he got in on trade. It's a Ram 2500 and it's a one owner, 2014, it's just a work truck and hopefully take it with us today and surprise Alec later tonight. It's uh, It honestly just ha so happened to be a Ram. I was looking at Chevy's, Rams, everything, but this truck came in and seemed to be a really, really good deal. And you know, we know the transmissions, we've got connections on the transmissions if it has an issue, like White Buffalo did. Hopefully it doesn't because this one is bone stock and it's staying bone stock. But the reason I wanted to get a diesel is so that uh, Alec can tow our trailers around if needed. Like, we gotta go to Georgia next week without one of our trailers, and now Alex should be able to shoot up there because he towed trailers growing up and stuff, so I trust him, and it's gonna work out good. Nice diesel Chevy's out yes, here. Sir. So if you guys remember a long, long time ago, Coop and I came here and we drove a McLaren, and we drove a, a truck that was gonna replace White Buffalo. Look at those Those are nice little work trucks. Yeah. 2,500 two-door. We gotta stay away from those. Yeah, we'll buy new. Nice. <laughs> those are nice. It should be over here on the other side. That's a much better truck right there. Are you sure? <laughs> Some four vans. There she is. I see it. Turn the corner. Oh yeah. What a nice That's unit, dude. I know this is the first silver vehicle. I'll have ever purchased. I think I've ever had a silver. I've always avoided silver. This would be the first one, but it's that just... Crown Vic you gave him the couch. No. Nice unit. I actually like the step. I think that could work good for work truck style. Nice unit. Okay, got a little hole in the tailgate. Little dent. Looks like the guy lost a trailer. Bogged his tailgate. <laughs> No big deal though. Or he forgot to take his tailgate down when he put his fifth wheel on. Yeah, back then. Forgot to open it. Still opens and closes all right. Got a fifth wheel hitch in there. Never hurts to have. Dude, looks pretty freaking nice. Yeah, it's got your typical 
rock chips kind of beat up front end. We can always do the grill swap like we did on White Buffalo, updated it. Yeah, what do you think of the long step? I like that, we're getting, the, we're getting some out of the bed. I would never put it on my truck, but I think since it's a work truck, it's kind of nice, you know, you just freaking hop up on there, grab whatever you need. Oh, look at that, short bed life. Yep. Hit the cab with the trailer. That's exactly why I got a long bed. I was trying to avoid that ever happening. And uh, bags. does it already have bags on it? Yeah. Nice, dude. That means two things though, you know? It's one, it's nice that it already has it. Two, it means it's been towed with quite a bit, so. Yep. It doesn't have the tow mirrors, but he added a little mirror for it. Yeah, we should definitely take it for a drive, make sure that the transmission feels solid. Coop and I know what a Ram transmission that's going out feels like, so. Look at that, dude. Still has the books. It's pretty much perfect, man. Don't, don't need anything nicer than this. Yeah, fire it up. Both C pillars are hit from a fifth wheel. Full on fuel, full on DEF. Sounds pretty good. Four wheel drive. Pop the hood. 75,930 miles. I don't know what those devices do. Four wheel drive. Gotta check that, make sure it works. It's basically a mini white buffalo. It's a little bit more beat than white buffy. Alright. So it's got a 68 RFE. If you have the dipstick on that side, it's got Eisen, but we did not luck out on that. That's that uh, common sound. Yes, sir. Typewriter. Not much we can look at under here. I mean, it's it's running, so. All right, you wanna take around the block and we'll go freaking yeah. feel it out. I bet you the guy sold this truck so that he could get a long bed after he hit his cab with <laughs> this yep. motor hunter. With he his, was probably so, fairly frustrated. But he didn't take the, the fifth wheel. Maybe he was changing oh, to an RV. That's true, maybe he just upgraded all together. Yeah. Oh man, it feels just like white buff. Nice and stock. That's how you know it's got to be a decent unit. That shift was smooth. Normally these things do not have smooth shifting. Yeah. Feels pretty smooth. It's that third to fourth gear shift though that we need to care about. Uh, that's kind of standard. I mean, it's pretty normal. Where they kind of like shudder a little bit into fourth. Yeah. Feels pretty solid to me, man. Drives pretty straight. Flip around. Yeah, wave at this guy with the silver ram. Fellow silver ram enthusiast. Wow. Same spec too. Didn't have tow mirrors. Feels good. Yeah, I mean, it definitely feels pretty solid. I don't think it's got any issues. Got your compass? Wow. Yeah, dude, so you don't get lost. <laughs> See that compass? <laughs> we make sure that's true north. We that. You have to do circles in a Walmart parking lot. We're going west. <laughs> you gotta recalibrate it. <laughs> See if the AC blows cold. It, it feels pretty chilly already. Feels good. Wow. feels good. I swear, like James' truck, his AC works better than my new one. Might just be this model truck that's a little bit better AC than the new units. They're just not as, not as saucy. Yeah, they don't have that like, you know, really bad yeah. for the environment Freon in them. They I think that's the same problem with my truck too. They got the new version of it and it's just not the same. Safer. Yeah. Yeah. Freaking. It doesn't have the same hit to it. It's a good it's truck. Straight as an aerial transmission seems good. It's on like the steely wheels too, so they're nice and tough. Yeah, it's got those fresh plastic covers on them. Yeah. Really shine like a diamond. I don't know if this was the designated test drive route, but... Man, they are so much slower stock. It's crazy what that tune on white Buffalo did. <laughs> I don't know, man. This seems like the perfect truck. Yeah. Already, already is beat up. It is already yeah, like but a... but not like enough to where it's just a piece of crap. It's a good start for a long-term work truck. Yeah, for, you know, we'll probably have this thing for the next five years. Yeah, for the next, like, it's at 75,000, it'll probably be at like 250. Yeah, we'll probably <laughs> run it up. But I mean, I would 
I, I would personally trust this truck to hop in it and tow our trailer to yep. an event, you know. Yep. I talked to uh, JH, he said the only thing you gotta worry about with these trucks is the transmissions. Engines are good. So, if it blows a tranny, we'll call Suncoast. We know. We know what to do. Alright, ladies and gents, we have made a deal. We have a new, new unit in the family. Look at this unit. This is the one we actually bought, guys. <laughs> Just kidding. Imagine we brought that to Alec. <laughs> he would have had a heart attack. <laughs> nah, dude, I love this thing. This is the perfect truck. Yeah. It's already got its damage. Scratches, you know. dents. It's got its scratches, dents. It's got its little C pillar dings and dats and the tailgate, you know. So we don't got to take perfect care of it, but this truck will probably last, what, another 150,000 miles easily before we gotta get rid of it. It's already pretty much depreciated as much as it's going to. Yeah, we'll just run it into the ground, pretty literally. Much. Take care of it. The one thing I would like to do is put some tow mirrors on it because, you know, but honestly, I don't even put my mirrors up when I tow. Do you even put yours out? Mine are kind of already. Yeah, true, yours are already pretty big. They kind of so. already do what they need to do. I don't know. I don't know if these things will, will hold up. We'll have to tow with it and see how it is, but Guys, I think we got a pretty good truck here. It's definitely probably already proven itself. Drove solid. It's got some good tires on it. Tires seem decent. They're not in terrible shape. Maybe we'll hit up our boys at Nitto. Improve the value via tires. Got the bed liner. What are we gonna name it? We have white buffalo, white bison. Is this silver fox? The silver stallion. Silver stallion's pretty good. All right, guys, we gotta do some paperwork. We will see you guys in a little bit. We're gonna get it, uh, you know, Throw some stickers on it, get it cleaned up, set up a way to surprise Alec. Probably at my house, it's in the barn or something. And uh, I'm pretty excited though. We got ourselves a freaking new unit. New unit alert. Okay guys, so we are just getting all our stuff out and we're getting it ready. It started pouring rain, of course. So Alec is at the track right now and I'm gonna tell him to come home a little early. And he, we're gonna have this all closed up and he's gonna walk through that door over there and be like, uh, what? best part about all this is that he was literally I don't know what an hour ago texting JH links to trucks that he's trying to buy because he uh he's been trying to get something so and I told him just yesterday I said hey man like look it's gonna be a while before we get a truck just because uh I don't know I already knew we were kind of going for this one so I wanted to screw with him and make it a little bit more of a surprise when he gets here hey dude we had to go to the house uh cooper went through a big puddle and got water in his intake classic chevy yeah yeah lock up and just come home we'll worry about the tractor tomorrow come in the shop though spence and i are hanging out in here all right sounds good all right bye oh that's pretty satisfying right there oh got a bubble damn it there we go got it out couple bubbles chris is gonna be real disappointed watching this i know Ooh, that looks pretty sick, dude. There you go. I might have to rep one together. of those on my truck. Folks, we are in show mode. This is it. This is, we're ready. What are you doing, Fluff? Get in here. Hey, it's wet out there. Oh, she's went right in the mud. Goodness. Look at Clean yourself up. Close it up. <laughs> dude, she, she is not pleased. She's wet. Here. All right, so. Should I pull it up at all, you think? Or is it perfect right there? I think it's pretty good spot okay cool all right folks tango spotted tango spotted all right guys you ready everybody position <laughs> positions on set there we go yeah A freedom factory truck no shot yes sir <laughs> damn <laughs> oh, check her out dude this oh, is your new ride <laughs> shirt i thought it's your shirt on <laughs> it's all right it's, uh, it's as real as it gets oh i knew something was going on as soon as cooper's truck was outside i was like nah, this is <laughs> <laughs>
Damn. <laughs> What do you think, dude? Gosh, this is sick. It's your new cruiser, dude. I like dude. the color. Yeah, 2014 at Ram 2500, heavy duty, 76,000 miles, dude. No shot. Yes, sir. One so, owner, baby. Yeah, Dang. one owner. She's man, dude. Come check her out. I love it, dude. Look at the, so she's got a couple things wrong with her, but other, like it's a dent and scratch special. Dent and scratch special. It's Look super it's solid. Insane. No, it is, man. Damn, dude. You you're going to be getting in on it. You yeah, go start it. Go start it. No. <laughs> Millie, hold them out. What, what do you think? You like it? 2014? 2014, yep. Oh, brother. <laughs> I'm there. Doing something this new. There we go. Diesel, baby. Comments live. Hey, man, you've been killing it for the last, what, almost six months now? Definitely know you're committed to the team, so we had to hook you up, man. Walk oh around though, God. check it out. Pop the hood too. No way. <laughs> Brower. <Woo! laughs> yeah, boy. Got the six, seven, same thing that Buffalo had. Really? Did you know that? Yep. Dang. Wait till you drive, dude. Rip. It's bone stock. It's never been modified. No tunes. No nothing. So. Really? Yep. She's uh. I was gonna say seventy-five. Seventy-six thousand. It literally rolled over seventy-six thousand on the way here. I know I told you it was going to be a couple months, but we had this plan, so I was dude, trying I to... literally just texted Jay today, and I was like, dude, I found this truck, like, <laughs> you, do you think it's a good price? And now it is. <laughs> <laughs> Figured, you know, if we're going to get a company truck, it needs to be something that can haul some units around, if you ever had to pull the trailer for us, things like that, you know, yeah. so... This Absolutely. is definitely the truck to do it, man. It's perfect. Yeah. Exactly. You want to go drive it? Yeah, You got a little hole in your tailgate, but... We could uh, put a sticker no. back over that, yeah. it'll be fine. <laughs> it'll burn out. No burnouts, dude. Burn <laughs> Can't do a burn. Listen, six, you know these transmissions, do they don't like burnouts. Wow. Damn. Damn. <laughs> this show is a it's going to take me a while to. Yeah, dude, get comfortable. Brother. She purrs, man. Yeah. It's so smooth. Wow. You just got this today? Yeah, we picked it up this morning. I oh, technically right. bought it on a Wednesday. <laughs> Kept so. the secret from me. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, man. I love it, dude. It's just like, it's honestly such a great truck. Like, I drove it today. I put a couple hundred miles on it because we had to drive to get it. Mm -hmm. And it just drives so perfect. Like, going 80, 85 mile an hour. I mean, it is so smooth. It's like a brand new truck. But, I mean, it literally rolled over 76,000 miles today. And it takes the DEF. Yeah, it does take diesel exhaust fluid because it's just, okay. you know, that's how it is. <laughs> wow, dude. It was funny because like I was like, oh, this would be perfect to roll up in old red to go from you know old red to this, but I was like, oh, it's raining, he it can't even drive old red. He's <laughs> got no AC. <laughs> All right, dude. First drive down. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Thank Congrats, you, man. You're, you got the wonderful. you got the coolest work truck I think we could have ended up with. Right. This happened to be the perfect deal, you know. Well, here's to freaking many more months or many more years working many out at the Freedom years. Factory and yeah. making big moves and putting on big events. And absolutely. this truck will hopefully uh, help you up. out. Yeah, absolutely. All right, boys, we got the Freedom Factory Ripper. This is it, the Ram 2500 Freedom Factory unit. And uh, you heard it here first. So, all right, guys, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Do it for Dale. We'll freaking see you later.